welcome to She's In Her Apron. We just moved into this home a couple of weeks ago. With the move, we just used this freezer to throw everything in. It's very hard to meal plan when things are in chaos. How you organize your freezer will help you save hundreds a year on your grocery bill. I'm gonna be sharing with you some tips to help you determine what freezer is right for you and your family and show you how you can organize any size freezer. If you're new to this channel, uh, I like freezers. I like freezers a lot. I have our refrigerator freezer and then this refrigerator freezer, this big upright freezer that I've had for a long time. A freezer that we put in our last pantry that I got at Sam's Club and then the drawer freezer from Costco. In the comments, let me know, besides your refrigerator freezer, do you have a separate freezer? Is it upright? Is it chest? Is it one of the drawer freezers? The biggest thing I teach is organize by zone and categories, but I'm organizing each freezer by priority. Each one is gonna do things a little differently. I thought I was gonna store all my frozen veggies in this one, I am not. Down here, just as we were taking inventory and marking down what we had, we just put the frozen veggies down here. This is not where I want them. I want them in the other freezer, but if you have a standing freezer, I would not suggest leaving your frozen vegetables down here. This is like the coldest area. I would put your bulk meats, if you can, down here. I'm gonna use the pantry freezer that's in the food room next to the Costco shelf freezer where all my bulk meat is so far for all the vegetables. And we're gonna use this for all the bulk chicken. A lot of the freezer meals will go in here. I want to save this refrigerator freezer here for all the fun food for the kids. They could come out, they can get their nuggets, ice cream, popsicles, frozen yogurts, their chicken patties, frozen pizzas, all that jazz, you know, that's gonna be there for them, okay? I don't want them in here. This is mama's domain, stay out. If you only have one freezer, these tips in this video are gonna help you out. Think of your freezers a little differently, not just for storing your food, yay. Think of convenience. Think of your time, think of your money. Here are some quick tips depending on the type of freezer that you have. So if you have a side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer, the door is going to be the warmest part. So use it to store things like bread, nuts, flour, herbs, and things like ice packs. Try organizing it with skinny, thin containers. Now, if you have a bottom refrigerator freezer like I have with both my fridges right now, you'll likely need to stack some items. When you stack like items in the freezer, it just helps you not lose anything in there. So keep your chicken stacked on chicken and your vegetables stacked on vegetables. This is what I've done for years with my bottom freezer. So if you have a top refrigerator freezer, you can make the most of the space by creating your own drawers using bins. You can even use magazine holders. Those work great. If you have a chest freezer, use bins of different sizes to create layers since chest freezers have depth. You can keep the items you use the most in the top layers and the items that you might not use as often or if you're buying in bulk, like all your bulk meats, down at the bottom. For me, organizing in the chest freezer, I love the recycle bins from the container store because they have a handle. It makes pulling things out in categories in your big chest freezer so easy. And if you have an upright freezer, I love using the bigger bins. You could really maximize in there by stacking a ton of chicken in one area, beef in bulk, but you're definitely able to organize by zoning categories a lot more easier in an upright freezer. I love my upright. Okay, so since I brought up buying in bulk, I would like to thank ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video. ButcherBox has always been number one of recommendation from me when you want to start having meat in bulk in your freezers, but at a good price and a good quality meat. So what is ButcherBox? ButcherBox is a meat subscription service where you decide what cuts of meat you want delivered straight to your door. They're frozen right at the peak of freshness and sent right to you so you could just open the box, take them out and put them right into your freezer. You're getting the highest quality meat at an affordable price. Mr. Toodles is going to love this. So the different meats that they offer are 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, pork-raised crate-free, and wild-caught seafood. As an East Coast girl, that's important to me. So you're probably wondering, what is the true value of ButcherBox? First of all, the price. This is everyone's main concern, right? The least expensive box will make up to 24 meals for you and your family. 
they have two different box options for you. They have the curated box where they choose the cuts of meat for you. Then they have the custom box where you go in and you handpick each cut of meat. So for the curated box, there's the classic box. It's $146 and you get eight to 11 pounds of meat. That's 24 meals. In the custom box, there's the classic box. It's $169, you get between nine to 14 pounds of meat and you get up to 30 meals. You know, I know my prices at the grocery store and I calculated this out. For the quality that you're getting with ButcherBox, the money is on point. It really is worth it. The second value is time. They're saving you time when you order everything that you need and it gets delivered right to your doorstep so you can stay out of the grocery stores. It's just so nice when you're on a budget and you you know like how much you're gonna spend on your meats. You can prepare accordingly and you can meal plan accordingly. It really is super convenient. And value number three is quality. You're getting the highest quality meats delivered right to your door. At ButcherBox, they just believe in doing better. The animals are humanely raised, no hormones, no antibiotics. The member benefits are so cool. Once you're part of the ButcherBox community, you can get access to special member deals and add-ons for each box you order. Sometimes they'll have limited specialty items. There was one year where we got lobster tails. That was exciting. So what do you get as a member of ButcherBox? One, member weekly deals. Two, recipe inspiration tips and hacks. And number three, the big one, free shipping. So if you're interested in taking a look at ButcherBox, be sure to click on the link below for this month's exclusive limited time offer. Choose between chicken thighs, ground beef, or premium steak tips to receive in your box free for a year. So with us still moving and settling in, getting our freezers set up, I definitely want to try the grass-fed burgers tonight. Look at this burger. That is nice and thick. Mmm. Thank you again to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get back to organizing our freezers. Okay, remove everything from your freezer. Getting everything out will help us see what we have and decide what needs to be eaten first. So you're basically meal planning for the week while doing this. I have some meals for the next week that I already see that I can put into the rotation. So I found a bag of hash browns that need to be used up, some chicken that definitely needs to be used up, and some smoothie packets we gotta hurry and start downing so we can make new fresh ones. So during this process, I noticed some things that we need to eat up. If there's a mess in there, take the time right now just to hurry and wipe it out. You don't have to go too crazy, just get it cleaned up. But when you're doing this, you're going to take inventory. We have gotta know what we have. That way we're not wasting money, we can make our meals and meal plan for the week. I have my gloves. When you organize your freezer, seriously use gloves. It's so cold. Your fingers are gonna freeze up so fast. I already started this process a few days ago. I did start to take inventory. My mother-in-law helped me because I thought I broke my finger. It's just really badly bruised and it hurts, but we're pushing through. So thank goodness it's not broken. She pulled, helped me pull everything out. We put them into freezer bags and we took inventory. I was talking on my phone because it was hard to write. So now I'm gonna take my inventory and put it on paper. When it comes to making an inventory, you don't have to get fancy. You can just take a piece of notebook paper and write what's in that freezer. Just post it onto the freezer. You wanna know what you have. That way you don't always have to open up your freezer and let all that cold air out. You could just go to your sheet, see what you have, and you can meal plan for the week. If your freezer is magnetizable, you could put a small dry erase board on there and attach the dry erase marker onto, onto there as well. And then you could just write what you have in there really quickly. And then when you take something out, just wipe it away and you're good to go. I keep track of my freezer inventory in my planner. It, it helps you not buy doubles at the grocery store too. This is where it also helps you save money. You're not overbuying. So write down everything that's in your freezer and see if you can start to notice any groupings, any categories. That way you can see what you wanna store them in, what type of baskets or bins that you wanna to use to organize it all. So I started organizing the butters on the door, just like I did before in the other home. I just find this super convenient. These bins I got at uh, Hobby Lobby and this has all my chicken. We took inventory. Now I just need to put tags on here. 
So let's go talk about some storage solutions for your freezers. What I like to do before I head out to the store is shop my home. I have lots of containers and I hold on to uh, quite a bit of containers because the what if. I'm, I don't, I'm not a hoarder with them, but I notice that I'm shifting things around my house on where I can use them. And I've noticed that with the move. Certain bins that I've used on organizing certain areas of the home, I've switched it up. Look and shop your home first before you head out. This will save you money. My newest purchase for my pantry and freezers are these multi-purpose bins from Ikea. I have seen them around for a while and you guys, I'm hooked, I'm sold. These are fantastic. So I grabbed the medium, large, and extra large size. I wanted them in all clear, but my store was out. So I got these aqua color. I really like these for the pantry and freezer because I can actually see what's in the basket and nothing gets lost. I love that they have handles. I'm excited to see how they fit in the freezer. So what I'm noticing with these multi-purpose bins from Ikea, I could definitely fit three of the large and one of the medium. I think I'd be cutting it a little too close to fit another large here. Ooh, I can get four of the large multi-purpose bins on this shelf. Awesome. Now that you have your containers, you're ready to organize your freezer. You could have bins that say treats, maybe you freeze your chocolate chips, candies for the holidays, an area for your nuts. Maybe you could separate your meat section like you have your normal meat, but maybe you already have meat or poultry that's marinated and that's in a different area. A section for your seafood, your bread. So maybe for all your freezer meal kits in one container. Uh, the, your homemade TV dinners that you made in one container. Container. Maybe your barbecued stuff in, in an area. Uh, a section if you store lunch meats, maybe it's a little bit over by the bread. Or a bin for your fruit. And maybe an area where you can find all your frozen bags of like veggies. A bin or a basket for your baking. I like to freeze pie filling. I love freezing cookie dough. I like to store taco kits, pizza kits. So you could do pasta kits, burrito kits. There's so many. I only have two taco kits left in my freezer. I do have a video where I share with you how to make kits I do have a video I'll leave it below for you but I am making more soon so definitely tune in there's so much that you could do and so many ways to take advantage of your freezer so you can make things quickly and maybe you have a section in your freezer or a certain freezer dedicated just to your make ahead meals I do have a freezer for that <laughs> Yeah, it may have a problem, but hey, it gets dinner on the table. It makes it so convenient. I definitely love to double and triple some of our recipes and get them in the freezer. Cook once, feed the masses several times. Label what you can. And now I'm guilty sometimes of just throwing something in the freezer. I run the freezer food show here. So it's like, I know what we have. So when working with the freezer, my mother-in-law was helping me. My mother-in-law's like, what is this bag? It looks like meat or something. I'm like, oh, that's shredded turkey. And she's like, how do you know that? I'm like, well, one, I put it in there just a couple of months ago, so I know. But I'm always in there. But for some reason, Derek got a hold of that bag and didn't know what it was. Ah, oh, that would be horrible. So label everything, even if you think you know what it is and you'll remember. Trust me, you don't wanna mix up chicken stock with pineapple juice. Done it. So put what it is and the date that I went into the freezer. So label the containers or label the sections of your freezer according to the zones and categories that you created. You may know how you organized it all, but the people in your household might not have a clue. It makes putting things away a breeze. Others can actually help you go to the freezer and put things in the right section. You can use the Avery labels, you can use stickers, you can even put a piece of masking tape on and write on the piece of tape. Do you, but make sure you label. I got a sneak peek of my dad's freezer system. He does a really good job of organizing and he's letting me share it with you. My dad also has the drawer freezer from Costco and by the looks of it, the priority of this freezer is to store his cheese and frozen vegetables. It's so easy to access them. I would say probably the number one thing that gets lost in your freezers are the frozen vegetables. All right, let's take a peek in his standing freezer. Ooh, he's got the clear bins as well. I am liking the clear bins more and more. Okay, I am seeing a lot of beef and chicken, turkey, some pork. Interesting, he is utilizing the door with all his ground beef. I don't know if I would store ground beef on the door, but he has them sealed up really good with the vacuum sealed bags. 
that makes a huge difference. It looks like he uses his food saver machine a lot. And he's got the bags labeled. Well, my parents must know the bins very well because the bins aren't labeled, but that's okay. They're the only ones that utilize this freezer. And he says that this chest freezer is just mainly goodies. It's all your ice creams and popsicles. And here is his top refrigerator freezer. This looks like it's housing all the convenience items. Some TV dinners, butter, some bread. Very good. I hope this inspired you to organize your freezers or just give you a few ideas on how you can store things in categories, zones, or a new method of doing things. Don't forget to click that link down in my description box for ButcherBox. You get to pick an exclusive deal on the ground beef, the chicken, and the steak tips that you can get free in every box for a year. You don't wanna miss out. Hey, if you wanna start doing some TV dinners, freezer meal kits, or just need some freezer meal make ahead inspiration, I have the videos for you right here. And in this video here, I'm sharing with you 40 foods that freeze well. You'll be surprised. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you soon. Bye.